Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Last Wings. This game is currently, before I forget, $7.99, but if you're on PlayStation Plus for the first week, I'm willing to bet it'll be $7.19, which is... These, these discounts are weird, like why 80 cents? What is it about 80 cents that is so appealing? Like, Typewriter is on that same discount, I don't know why, but anyway. Last Wings is a dogfighting game mainly built for online multiplayer. I have played some of the online multiplayer. We're not going to jump into it here because... Well, actually, to be fair, we probably could. But, we'll, yeah, actually, we'll do that. But, nevertheless, we'll get into that very shortly. There is a tutorial, but I didn't even bother to go to it because the control scheme for this game is very simple. There is the credits, and we don't need to know what that's about. And we can also check the... Global leaderboards. Strangely enough, I can't actually go to my entry on these leaderboards. But, yeah, as you can see, it's got deads. Yes, I don't know why the game calls it deads. It just, it's meant to be deaths, not dead, isn't it? The English in this game isn't the best, I'll tell you that much. So anyway, let's go straight to the multiplayer. Uh, as you can see, my ping isn't going to be fantastic, but... Considering that the game will just pop in bots that run on my console, if there's not enough human players, it'll probably look just fine anyway. So, game's got four different modes, and we'll go through them all one by one. We'll have a single match in each. And, yeah, I this video will look a little bit weird and grainy. That's just the capture kit. There's nothing I can do about that. The game itself does look nice and smooth. Oh, hey, would you look at that? There's actually some people playing. But anyway... Just before I hop into the game, this is your plane customization. Whenever you level up in the game, you get either new planes or new weapons. You've got two main attacks here, a few special attacks, a single... I'm actually going to take this because it's useful for the shotgun. A, a few abilities there and the ability to speed up your engine and the cost of your energy. So I'm going to take my silver bullet in here and we're going to go and have a fight. So anyway, here we are. This is Last Wings. It's a two-dimensional plain dogfighting game. The idea is that you have to... Well, there's not really one specific idea, but, you know, there's different modes, and they've all got different things you need to do. This mode is your typical deathmatch. There are three other modes. Your typical team deathmatch, and your typical... Your typical team deathmatch, but you've only got one life every round, you know. That's... Pretty simple stuff, more or less. And there's also Al. And there's four... There's also a base attack mode, which is basically just hit the enemy's base until they... until it dies. Pretty easy to understand, really. And there's four maps to do it all on, and every map can be played on every mode, but... The maps themselves aren't really that different. They look different, sure, and they've got different layouts, but, I mean, there's nothing special on any of them. It's just a bit... Just a bit bare and basic, more or less, is what I'm trying to say, right? So... The game's controls are very simple. You have the movement, which is done by a left and right on your analog stick or your D-pad, depending on how you're feeling that day. There's also the ability to fire your weapon. You've also got a sub-weapon, as you saw earlier. Why is this guy not dying? Thank you. So, yeah, you also have the sub-weapon. You have the ability to show the scoreboard if you hold triangle, and that's basically it. You use the R button to accelerate and the L button to decelerate, and if you decelerate too much, you will start falling down. However, generally, unless you're going at, like, absolute stop in terms of your speed, that probably won't be a problem, honestly. So, I'm going to talk about the game's physics. Now, there's a game on PC called Altitude, which I really hoped this game would be a bit more like. It's very... It's a game very similar to this one, but it's got a ton of modes, a ton of maps, and the physics engine is very satisfying because if you turned too quickly or 
use too much speed. You could oversteer, understeer, stall, do stuff like that. But in Last Wings, the engine is a lot more... What's the word I'm looking for? Casual, I think would be the best way to describe it. How the hell did he blow himself up? I don't understand. The engine is a lot more casual in that sense, right? Like, it's very easy to get your bearings and fly around. And as far as I can tell, most of the planes, even the ones that are different from your typical standard plane, are very... I'm getting my ass kicked here, but then again, that's to be expected for reasons I'll get into. But yeah, the engine in this game is very simple to get a hang of, and every single plane turns in exactly the same way, as far as I can tell. And speeding up and slowing down only serves... Well, slowing down, I should say. Speeding up serves to get you out of the way of stuff, but slowing down only serves to get yourself shot and killed. So you'll end up just being at maximum speed most of the time. There's no real reason to slow down unless your opponent slows down too, and even then only slightly, just so you still have the advantage of speed on them. The weapons are very simple as well. You've got the shotgun, which is very useful. It's an extremely useful weapon. But you only unlock the different weapons once you get to higher levels. So you're stuck with the, with the annoying and almost pointless and extremely hard to aim machine gun up until that point. Meanwhile, as soon as you get to the shotgun, you immediately get a big advantage. Game crashed. This happens a lot too, but I'm going to leave that in because that's just what happens. I'm also going to go play the single player now because, yeah, you've seen what the multiplayer looks like at 300 ping and honestly the multiplayer does work alright. But, yeah, that's not a good showing for the game, I've got to say. But this, that's what happens. The game is very crash worthy. But anyway... We'll go and play team fight now, although it's pretty much exactly what you might expect. So yeah, the turning and the and the weapons and all that are just not that impressive, really. Not at all. Also notably, the game didn't save any of the experience I got. I did I have been playing this game for about an hour up to this point, and I did just get to level six as I started to play this. And well, yeah, basically. <laughs> It didn't save any of my experience, which is kind of annoying, but anyway, we'll get on to that. So yeah, it's a not not a very satisfying physics system or not very satisfying weapons. They all sound quite well not terrible, but very very just generic. Like they don't have any oomph or kick to them, which is really disappointing, honestly, because I mean, just because we're World War II era biplanes flying around and trying to shoot each other down doesn't mean that the sound needs to be just, you know, realistic. Also, notably, there's no music. Like, no music whatsoever. It just has none. I mean, the game is light on the RAM, so you can actually go and put your own music in if you feel like it, which is, you know, pretty cool. But at the same time, I can't help but question why there's no music. You'd figure they'd have some music in here somewhere, surely. As I also mentioned before, the game's got a lot of technical issues. That crash that I experienced there? Fourth time. Not even kidding. The game is terrible on the crashing. Then again, I don't know if it's my memory card failing or not, because it is the that infamous C2 era, but this is a 32 gig memory card, so it isn't... It isn't prone to the crashing like some other memory cards are, but at the same time, it's very crash prone, and I'm not entirely sure why. It also has some stuttering problems too, especially in the single player. I mean, I haven't seen any playing this particular match, but I was playing a match of like the base attack mode, and it was just stuttering constantly. Like the game would freeze for a second or two every now and again. Just... Trying to keep up? I honestly don't know. The game's frame rate can also take a dip at times, but mainly it's only when there's like four or five planes on screen and they're all shooting at each other that like there's... Like it takes a fair amount to make the game slow down, which is not so much impressive as much as understandable, but at the same time it'd be nice if it wasn't there. I also have a problem with the game's pickup system more or less. I mean... The game lets you regenerate your health and your energy very slowly, but in order to get a full regen of your health, you need to kill an enemy and hope a pickup drops off them, because generally if you want to get back into the fight, you'll just have to piss off into a corner and hide, which is 
something you don't really want to do in an action game like this, but I'm reminded of Quake, where Quake would leave pickups all over the field and the most skilled players could get them, could kill someone, go get the pickups, and then be back into the fight before they even know it, right? And by the way, the game's about to end. There it goes. So yeah, that's a, that's a team match. It's just first to 30. So, yeah, in order to get a full heal and in order to kill someone, you have to kill someone and hope that a health pickup drops. Because it's random chance whether a pickup will drop at all, you'll get a health pickup or you'll get a shot pickup. Or an energy pickup, I should say, sorry. And it's just kind of annoying more than anything else. Because there's just there's no skill involved in it. It's all random chance whether or not a pickup will drop, someone will go and pick it up, and, you know, it's just annoying. Also notably random based is the game's spawning system where you'll end up spawning in the middle of a fight with two enemies bearing down on you and they'll be able to shoot you up before you can say Hail Mary. Yeah, that's um, that's not great, is it? It's just not fantastic in the slightest, is it? So this is the team destruction rounds mode thing and it's counter-strike rules you die you're out for the rest of the round and there's multiple rounds and i don't even know if this mode works properly if you want me to be perfectly honest because i tried playing a single round of this but it bugged down on me or something i honestly don't know what happened it just i i i honestly can't even describe it it just it keeps saying it's like round one and then just kept going and going and going. And yeah, I don't know what happened. But... Oh, well, I'll see if it works fine this time. But yeah, look at that spawn. Look at that. I really got screwed with the positioning there. And so did that other... Bl and so did the red guy, because... He could have destroyed me. Like, if he was a human player, he could have just fired all my weapons into me as soon as the shields went down. But, thankfully, he didn't, because he's an AI, and the AI is... Well, it's not stupid. It's still a relatively challenging fight, and there are four difficulties of AI, and I am playing on normal. So, you know, maybe the insane difficulty is a lot more challenging, or a lot more capable. But at the same time, it's... And at the same time, it's kind of stupid, like, it can avoid the walls, normally, but if you're chasing it down, it's low on health, it'll just run into the wall and kill itself rather than give you the point, which is, which is actually kind of funny, all things considered, but, yeah. And considering the game tends to lock all its, like, pickups and stuff behind all this annoying as hell, all this annoying as hell, just locking system, you know, like, that every other bloody game has, and you have to spend ages to unlock all the other planes, like, what is stopping you from giving me all the planes, and just having all the weapons locked, and having me unlock them via the level system, or even having, like, cosmetically different planes, like, I can't even tell just by looking at the game's physics if these other planes are actually different or not, which is a little disappointing, honestly. Just, the level system annoys me, because considering the shotgun, which is a much more effective weapon, was that the fun? Yeah, that was the final round, so, yeah, it just goes immediately on to the next round, does it? Like, and that was like three rounds, not five, like it says in the thing there. See, I just, I don't understand it. It's weird. It's really strange. But anyway, we'll abandon that, and we'll go play the final mode, which is base attack. And we'll do it in the desert, because why not? So, in this 15 minute period, I've shown you every single mode the game has. Well, I'm going to show you every single mode the game has, because it's it's been, well, it's going to be like 20 minutes. Oh, here comes the stutter again. Yep, did you see that? Yeah, that was, that was the game. The game is very bad like that, and I don't know why. So in this video, I've shown you everything the game has to offer, pretty much. I've shown you all the weapons, I've shown you planes, I've shown you weapons. Well, I haven't shown you all the planes, but at the same time, you can see them because they do spawn in the game. 
one way or another. So I've shown you pretty much everything the game has to offer in the way of modes and maps. There's just nothing here that's particularly fun or interesting. Let me put it that way. And it's a shame because as much as I would like to say I outright hate this game, I'm only disappointed. It works okay as a thing and it's got potential just as a game, but there's just a lot missing. It feels like they just went and filled in a checklist, more or less, of what would make a good game like this instead of, like, actually taking in some, like, original ideas. Like, it's a video game, not not a serious simulator. You could have done some interesting stuff with this concept, and the old PC game Altitude actually did, because it is basically this game, but better. It had a better physics system that actually relied on a bit of skill. It had a... It had a bunch of different interesting modes. Like, it had every mode this game had, and it also had... Bloody hell... And it also had... No, oh, they, they lost. I'll play one more match because they, they, it usually doesn't go anywhere near that fast. It had modes like a game where there was a ball and you had to grab the ball and take it to the enemy's goal. It had all sorts of other things. The unlock system was actually still balanced so that you weren't actively powered up when you were at level 1. And that game still got players to this day. I'm not even kidding. It's pretty great, all things considered, but... Last Wings, it just doesn't have very, it doesn't have very interesting things at all. It's just, it's just dull more than anything else. It's really dull. I've been playing this game for an hour and I have no reason to come back to it. It's just, there are many, many other games that I would rather be playing other than Last Wings. And it's a shame because a game like this on the Vita would have been great, but... Well, a game like Altitude on the Vita would have been great, but Last Wings just isn't very impressive at all, honestly. And considering the technical problems, they said that the game they found a few bugs on the launching of the game. A few bugs is right. Well, when the game launched, I should say. Not on the launching of the game, but when the game launched. And found a few bugs is definitely right. They... God, this game is... It's crashed on me four times. I mean, come on. That's like a crash every... Crash every 15 to 20 minutes. That's unacceptable. So yeah, I... For the life of me, I can't recommend this game for... Seven bucks or... Eight bucks or whatever the price will be whenever you watch this video. It's just... There's just nothing really that impressive about it. And I can't... I just... I can't say that I had anything more than a small amount of fun with it, and even then. Just the bugs, and the lack of variety, and just... Everything about it just screams mediocre. A lot of potential, just missing. I'm sorry, devs. I really am, but... Like, if you patch the game and add some interesting things, add more modes, add... Make the pl Unlock every plane by default. Just do something. Do something interesting, please, for the love of God. Instead of just... Leaving us to... Just, you know, just this... Average stuff. This completely average stuff that this game is. It's just... Really, really disappointing. Just, it, just disappointing. That's the only word I've got for it. Disappointing. I'll finish this match and then we'll call this video off. But I guess an upside to it is that it's small. It's like 60 meg. But that really isn't a positive when the game isn't that good, is it? So yeah, this, is, this has been a quick look at Last Wings. Not recommended. Hopefully they'll patch it and add something more interesting. But yeah, it's just... Honestly, it's not really worth the time. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.